Okay, so we pretend to re tend to rely on many things for our basic necessities mm -hmm. like food, food, water, electricity, mm -hmm. and there are some who actually want to change that. And today they're teaching people how to be more prepared from setting up your own water system to canning food. The second annual Sustainable Preparedness Expo is at the Chattanooga Convention Center today. And good morning, Chattanooga's Betsy Golden is there now with more. Betsy? Morning, yes, and I wanted to show you one of the really cool booths and classes that they're going to be having here. I am with Dr. David and Beth Pruitt, and they came all the way from Portland, Oregon, just to show you this. Talk a little bit about what y'all are doing here and what you're going to be teaching folks. Sure. So we uh, we have a small first aid kit company, Amp3, and we hand build a line of first aid kits all the way. This is our first kit that we ever did that put us in business, a small pocket first aid kit, all the way up to this what we call the outfitter, which is a clinic in a roll, all the way from trauma down to a dental kit that we looked at a little bit ago. Right. So this is really perfect for people who live in Chattanooga, because we love to be rock climbing, rock climbing on our mountain bikes. mountain biking. Yes. Exactly. And so if something was to happen and you got injured, what is this? Yeah, so we're actually teaching a, a wound management and suture class today. So we're going to teach 20 people to suture. And I laid this out just so you could see. And it's pretty simple. We'll spend two hours and people will go from start to finish. And this is a needle driver in, an, in, a, in, an, in a needle. And this is a simulated skin with a wound. And you just go in one side. We'll do it real quick. Come out the other side. So while you do this, what sort of is the difference between this kind of wound, this all of the different yeah so the, this is just a practice pad and it just gives you curves and oh, this helps people learn placement of where to place the sutures and it's pretty simple so we just have a short arm and a long arm and we just wrap once twice grab the tail tie that knot pull it back to lock it grab another one Oh, this is very good for people to know how to do yeah so we'll teach 20 people to do this today and at the very end I always teach them how to do the uh, suture part first and at the very end we teach them how to use one of these skin staplers we'll pull a I don't think there. if I was in an emergency I could staple I think myself. you could watch how simple this okay. is okay you just go one two oh you're like right that. That is easy. So it's it's like an simple. EpiPen. But I, so I tell the students that take this, these are just different tools for different applications. So you need to learn both, but um, suture and staple. And we teach them uh, skin glue and everything else. That is so, so very neat. Well, in 30 minutes, we are going to be showing you another one of the booths. We'll have to go down and see what else they have that's set up already. So we're going to be showing you that in about 30 minutes. Back to you. Hmm. That looks Wait, interesting. I, I was going to say, that's pretty cool, but I, like Betsy said, I don't know if I'd be I, able to... Staple, yes. Suture, ooh, probably not. That is, We're just going to have to... Hopefully that never comes up. We'll leave that for the doctors, uh -huh. I think. <laughs>